In today's For Honor video, we will be taking a look at the Lawbringer in For Honor. Lawbringer is an interesting hero to learn in For Honor. He specializes in counterattacking and disabling enemies. He also got reworked recently. Today, we will take a look at his reworked kit, feats, and I will also show you gameplay to help you understand Lawbringer. So going over Lawbringer's kit, we're really going to talk about the Lawbringer's lights and heavies. <laughs> going over the chain lights and chain heavies as well. So, for regular lights, they do 12 damage on all sides. And with the lights for Lawbringer, you can't chain them. They, they can't be chained together. You can spam them, but it's not good to spam with Lawbringer's lights, unfortunately. Now for heavies, they do 20 damage on all sides neutral wise. For chain heavies... It goes up to like 74 damage if you get the full punish going. So it's 20 plus 26 plus 28. That's up to 74 damage. Just really insane. You can also chain your lights with your heavies as well. So as you see here, I can press light right after a heavy, which this will give me advantage to get some more damage and a big combo with Lawbringer. This is a new thing that I added with Lawbringer for his rework. And you can also combo Lawbringer's heavy to go into an unblockable after that light too so you can get more damage going and it gives lawbringer and a really good combo so as you see here you can go for a light afterward and you can go for unblockable if you want to let that fly and you can also faint the unblockable too so if you want to faint that you can also a little thing with lawbringer is that you can soft faint his unblockable top heavy you can basically soft faint and you can continue your chain which this gives Lawbringer a really good advantage to catch people off guard. All right, the next thing we'll go over for Lawbringer is his parry counters. So Lawbringer's parry counters, as you know, they did get a, they did get changed. They got changed a lot. So uh, let's just go over them. Uh, the first one is the Choo Choo Bringer, is like what I like to call. It. They changed that from the heavy parry to a light parry now. So as you saw there, with Lawbringer, they changed it to where whenever you try to go for that Chuchu or the repost pretty much, you can't get it off of a heavy because the startup is a bit long. Like it takes, like it's very slow for Lawbringer to just impale someone. But with a light parry, you can definitely guarantee to get a repost and all, and you can get a wall splat with it too. The next one is the light repost. This here is a parry counter and it goes into a light. So you can go for a light afterward. And you can go into the unblockable after. Like, like I showed you with the heavies and all, you can go into the unblockable after this light. So after you press the light, you can go for heavy. Or unblockable heavy, that is. It'll go into an unblockable heavy, does 28 damage. The next thing we'll go over is Lawbringer Zone. Now, you can get the parry counter with the zone. Which does have hyper armor. It's a good way to just trade with people's attacks if you're in an anti-gang situation with Lawbringer is what I would suggest using to negate someone's attack or trade the attack that is but his entire his entire arsenal does have uh, hype armor on his heavies so you can trade regardless but if you do want to finish your opponent off and all that's a good way to just use the zone and just finish them I mean if they're low health and they then you can finish them off and it only costs 30 stamina and it does 15 damage too so yeah really use the zone right there all right the next thing we'll go over is Lawbringer's opener aka his shove it does cost 15 stamina, so you want to be careful when using this. I recommend just using it to end your opponent off. So if your opponent's low and all, and you just go for this, or you try to like bait them, you can go for the bash and you can end up uh, killing them right then and there. So I would just highly recommend keeping this to kill someone or to end someone off. Or if you want to start your chain up, you can with this bash elemeter, and you can go for unblockable or whatever you want to go with. And also, you can do the shove after heavies as well. You can do it after any heavy, to be honest. After any heavy, you can't do it after a light. Now if, it, now, if you could do it after a light, that'd be insane. But after any heavy, you can go with the shove. It's a good way to get your ometers and a good way to go for any kind of mix up. So, yeah. All right, the next one that I want to go over is the long arm. The long arm has gotten a bit of a good touch up, to be honest. I do enjoy Lawbringer's long arm for his rework. So, as you see here, Lawbringer can get a guaranteed heavy. And this is where Lawbringer just shines. If you get this long arm off, you can get a guaranteed top heavy. You can go with the bash if you want to. And you can take your chain like that. Or you get the long arm off. And you can go for heavy, light, and then go straight into your unblockable mix. This is really good for Lawbringer. It makes the long arm kind of usable, to be honest. Because you can get damage with it. So it's pretty good. 
It's just, it's hard to catch people with it. You have to, like, catch them at the right time. And you can get it with the side, too, so... You can do it on the sides. Like, all sides are pretty much able to get hit after the long arm. So you won't have to, like, worry about <laughs> not getting the long arm and it being a, use, a useless move, to be honest. Like, I mean, the long arm before this was very useless. I'm glad they were able to just make it to where you can get a heavy afterward with Lawbringer. It just makes Lawbringer so much better. Also, there are some little things I didn't mention as much, so I'll go over those real quick with you guys. So, with Lawbringer's parry counter, there is one parry counter that I did forget, and that is the unblockable top heavy. So, you can go for an unblockable parry counter, unblockable top heavy parry counter. Yes, I did forget to mention that, but it's off of a light parry. So, you can get the unblockable off of a light parry, and it does a really good amount of damage. So, yeah, I did, I did mention, I did forget to mention that. It does around like 25 damage from my exact standpoint and all. 25 damage for that top heavy. That's pretty good. Also with Lawbringer, he does have hyper armor on his heavies. So as you saw there, there was white flash on that second one. White flash right there. He can pretty much hyper or he can pretty much take any hit. So I try to I try to use Lawbringer as Warlord in a way. To where I go back to light and I go straight into my chain afterward. Or I throw my heavy out. See if I catch him off guard and all. I would give him that warlord treatment sometimes and i would maybe catch some people off guard it really depends on how the person reacts and all but the hyper armor does make lawbringer a bit better to throw your attacks out and a bit safe to be honest now the last thing with lawbringer is his running attack now his running attack you can still do the choo choo bringer and all however i don't think you can get a wall splat oh no you can you can you can still get a wall splat i was confused because it, they did say that you can't get a wall splat as much but it, it showed it differently but apparently you can still get a wall splat with this so it is still possible to go with the choo choo bringer the train bringer <laughs> and you can go with the heavy if you want to near a wall and, and continue it like that uh to be honest with this uh it's not too bad i would personally use it in dominion or breach or any 44 modes but then one of your ones it's gonna be a bit tough because it can still be parried it, is, it can still be easily parried okay so that's gonna be pretty much it for lawbringer's entire kit now we're gonna go ahead and just Go into the feats for Lawbringer. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so we're just going to go over a basic overview of the feats. Now I will leave a link down below, uh, it's the For Honor Information Hub. If you want to look at more information of these feats, it'll, the Information Hub will be in the descri description below. But yeah, we got the first feat which is for tier 1. This is Conqueror, it's basically a passive, you capture control zones faster and pick up boosts last longer. For next one we have Harsh Judgment, this reduces the target stamina for a short moment. Harsh Judgment isn't that bad, I mean it does reduce the target stamina for a short for short, short duration honestly. For the third one we have Body Count, again we already know this, this is a passive. Killing Soldiers grants you health and stamina. For tier 2's feet, for the first one we have Righteous Deflection. This is a passive, you parry to gain high damage reduction for a short time. So you'll basically gain high damage reduction when you have this equipped for Lawbringers. For the second one, we have Fiat Lux. You throw a flash grenade that blinds enemies for a few seconds. And for the third one, we have Juggernaut. Uh, you're slowed and gain high damage reduction and slippery and uninterruptible. We already know about this uh, from just uh, Warlord and uh, I'd say Valkyrie because they have Juggernaut and all. And it's not bad to take with Lawbringer. Really good for high damage reduction. Between these two, I mean, I definitely would take Juggernaut. For the third one, we have Protective Revive. This here is a passive. Your revive grants temporary shield to the revived ally. This is a good. This one here is a good feat if you're trying to protect your allies whenever they are down and all, and you revive them, they get a temporary shield. It's not that bad if you want to help your allies out a bit. For the second one, we have Pugno Mortis. This you throw an explosive that deals moderate damage in an area. That's basically his bomb and all. Uh, Pugno Mortis. <laughs> then for the third one we have second wind you recover some health that we already know about second wind you recover you recover a little bit of health not too much i mean they they did nerf second wind a long time ago so second wind is, is still not the best all right for his fourth one we have igneous ember <laughs> several grenades that deal moderate damage over an area so you get to have several grenades in your arsenal with lawbringer and what I usually do is I make a bomb bringer build, uh, combining this with Pugno Mortis to have an extra grenade afterward. So you'll have like maybe up to like four gren four grenades. Or for the second one, we have catapult. You call a catapult strike to deal massive damage over an area. And then for the final one, we have regenerate. This is here as a passive. You regenerate your health when out of combat. So whenever you're out of combat, you do regenerate your health over time. This is what I usually take with Lawbringer. I take body count because I kill soldiers because I am a hybrid that 
has like a zone that kill soldiers and my entire kit can kill soldiers too i take juggernaut because i want high damage reduction and i want to be able to uh maybe kill someone with the high damage reduction i have and the hyper armor too i take pudo mortis because i want to make the bomb bringer build and yeah uh the third and fourth ones there together because i want to make the cool bomb bringer build it's just so fun to just use it yep this is what i usually take now you can experiment with all these feats if you want to and again i will leave the link for the information hub that way you guys can look at the feats in the description below all right here we are ladies and gentlemen we're playing some dominion right now i really just want to play dominion a lot i've been playing it a lot lately uh just in my spare time just playing it chilling so here we go Oh, I should have parried that. Alright, I go for that Salt Faint. So, yeah, with Lawbringer, everybody does know about the Salt Faint. Lawbringer. So, I'm just gonna be turtling up a bit. Okay. So, I'm guessing the Ocelotto does not want to hit me. Oh, now he does. Oh man, it's a bit tough. Woo! Okay, I gotta back out of here for a bit. No, I got the log R too. I wanna get the log R off, dig it. All right, I'm over here playing Dominion wrong. I'm a hybrid. I need to go and get B. That's what I need to do. I need to get B and then I gotta go for A if I can. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get B. See, like I clear the minions out so swiftly and this is why I took the first feat. That way I can get some of my health back. I mean, you don't get that much health back, but it is a good way to just get some health back if you're low and all. So if you're like low on health, you definitely get your health back. Ah, uh, there it is. Let it fly. Caught him. Okay. All oh, these minions, man. Got him. Nice. Nice. Too. Choo choo, mother flipper. <laughs> Come here. There we go. All right. Soft faint. Aw. Oh. Let it fly. There we go. Oh, come on, teammate. Yeah, there we go, teammate. And I'm edge blocking him. <laughs> nice. Nice, guys. Finally, I get some randoms that don't throw on me. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm going to just continue testing this. Because, hey, you're a hybrid. Whenever you're playing hybrids, ladies and gentlemen, playing in Dominion, you just really want to go for a B point. And I got my... I got my bomb here, so you can use the bombs right here to clear the minion lane. It, that's a good, that's a good example of using your bomb ringer and all, or using your bomb bomb ringer build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but just using one of your bombs and all to clear the minion lane is really good, bro. We are just dog walking them right now. We straight up dog walking. Them. There we go. Let it fly. There it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Hey, that's how it is. That's how it is, man. Now listen, I, I'm good at duels and all, but I'm really getting good at Dominion. Don't don't sweat on my Dominion now. Don't, don't sweat on it. Come on now. Here, you want to pop? Oh, uh, nah. <laughs> nah. Here, take that. Come on, come on. So as you see there on my fourth feet, as y'all see, it's reloading another grenade and all. For Lawbringer, so I'm just waiting. I'm just gonna wait it out. Bye bye. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's why you don't uh you don't lock on and all sometimes in Dominion. Oh, you're getting into game, buddy. I got gotcha. you. Oh no, you're getting you're getting ganked. Now I'm getting ganked. There it is. Bye-bye, dog. 
Give me that. Give me that cheese, man. There it is. Nice. Let it fly. And I caught... My gosh. The mix-up for Lawbringer is so freaking clean, dude. And a lot of people say that they don't like this rework. Come on now. you How do you not like a rework like that? Wait, we are straight up dog walking them, bro. We, we just we just dog walking them. We dog walking them on the leash right now. <laughs> this is crazy, man. They're not even going for A, bro. They're not going for their home point. We won this match. <laughs> it's over. It's over now. But you know I got to get the long arm. Come on, pirate, pirate. Come on, come on, come on. Pirate. Oh, come on, pirate. All right. Yeah, I can't get that. I don't know why I went for that. Oh my gosh. No. Not today. No, it's today! Oh. Long arm! YOLO! Oh, yay! Hey, 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 hey! Come here, come here, man! Come here! No, 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 no! Party, party! Come on, man! Let's just get you out of here! Here, party with me! Party with me, people! Hey, let's go! <laughs> Let's dance on them. <laughs> Let's go, baby. GG's. GG's, y'all. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So with Lawbringer in for honor right now, uh, Dominion-wise, he is really good in Dominion. Duels-wise, I still think he's kind of lackluster because, I mean, he has to focus on parrying his opponents and counterattacking. You got to be very defensive. So you got to basically turtle up with him just to make something work. I in my own perspective, that's what I, that's what I feel like. With Lawbringer, I mean, yeah, you have his offense where you can go for his bash right after, but his bash can be dodged, kinda. It can kind of be dodged, honestly. So people will be expecting that if you're playing duels and all. But in Dominion, Lawbringer is very good. He's very good in Dominion, in my opinion. Like he's still, he's like an uh, A tier column, A or low S. That's where I would put him. Like he, he's right there. It, it, with this rework, he just feels so much better, in my opinion. A lot of people don't like the rework but i i like it it's not too bad it's not too bad of a rework and now a lot of people on tiktok reddit and everywhere were saying that the rework wasn't the best i i gave it some time it is it's growing on me it's not too bad of a rework at all it's a pretty good rework i'd like to know what your feedback is in the comments below but overall his mix-ups are really good a uh, good opener with this bash and his long arm is finally not useless it's really good to use if you're long arming somebody in dominion so Go at it with Lawbringer, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to play with him, just go and play with him, man. He's worth 1,000 steel. He really is worth it if you want to get him. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today's video. I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Also, um, if you want to become a Raptor Pet member today, you can. For $3, you can join to become a Raptor Pet member here on YouTube. And I have special badges for you guys that will be beside your name. You'll get a badge and all. And I will also reply to your comments first. And I will also give you personal shoutouts. And I will also upload little sneak peek videos later for new for like newer videos and all so if you want to join the rat pad today go ahead and join come and join the rat pad baby <laughs> but yeah guys that's pretty much it for today's video hope you guys can get and join today's guide give me some feedback on what you thought about it did you enjoy it did you not enjoy it do you like lawbringer right now do you not like lawbringer to work right now let me know in the comments what y'all think and as always i'm the game raptor stay wild rat pack and i'll see you guys in the next video all right guys bye bye